What's up? It's Jared Vandaliska Vlogs. Um, I have been feeling a little bit um, over the last maybe couple of weeks. Like I mentioned in the last video, that I'm not exactly sure how how I feel about this whole moving back to New Zealand deal and what it would mean for me and for my future and by no means am I the kind of person that really plans anything but I think I've been thinking more and more about opportunity. The place that I've been moving to um, is called Dargaville in Northland. Um, very small population, very small business district like it's a, it's, a, it's like it's a country town right like it's super small um, I would say the majority of people that live there um, either work outside of the town um, or are of like retirement age so it's a fairly old population there but it's where my mom lives it's where my sister lives it's uh, two hours away from one of my other sisters and so I think the initial appeal of it was to be closer to family and maybe a, you know, a lifestyle change. The more I think about it, I feel as though in terms of a lifestyle change, it may be actually a change to what I have previously been doing in New Zealand, which is working for not very much money working hard but just for not much money and kind of subsisting um, and just kind of being a little bit becoming becoming stagnant again and um, by no means do I attribute anything that um, has changed in my life to Australia specifically but I feel like I've especially since um, coming to Christ I've grown in my own maturity I feel like being where I was in New Zealand um, around the kind of people that I was that was never going to change so I think moving to Australia was was always going to happen I mean I, I don't know I don't think I've ever, I'm not sure if I've ever discussed it before but I'm a um, a believer in predestination that everything happens for God's reasons so there's a th you know I think but you know really I know why it was that I came here uh, the thing that I'm not clear on is whether or not I should leave and so I suppose there's there's just the opportunity for me to kind of let go of, of trying to control the situation um, and understand that what happens will happen. Um, whether it's me moving um, to moving back to New Zealand, whether it's staying here in Australia or something else. Seeking asylum in Oklahoma perhaps. I just, I think since talking to Simone about it today, I kind of have a little bit more, I don't know, I feel a little bit better about not being entirely sure. Like I've, I felt very kind of agitated and nervous of late because everything's so kind of up in the air. But like we had spoken about today, I kind of like, the only thing that I'm almost 100% sure on is leaving this job. Um, you know, and she was saying to me that, that perhaps that's the that's the first step in a you know in a succession of things to to kind of eventually come to some kind of plan. <laughs> Like, I feel like I'm on the like I'm on the edge of doing something that's gonna be a big change, and I don't know if that's beside, but like you know, like after the whole leaving my job thing, or if it's just the leaving. 
got to have some faith that guys provided for me and protected me and really kind of pulled me through a lot of difficult times, things a lot heavier than this, really. I mean, this is, you know, this is nothing compared to some of the things that I've gone through. This is relatively simple. It's something that people do all the time. Quit your job, get a new job. Do you know, I honestly, I was thinking about scripting this video, like writing down some points in that, but I just felt like if I didn't pick up the camera and do it, then there's a good chance that it wouldn't get done. And then I would, I haven't even eaten yet. I just got home. I haven't really done anything except for like take my shirt off. And it wasn't in an attempt to be sexy, by the way. I don't really attempt it, it just kind of happens. So anyway, I guess this has become like a dear diary kind of thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm gonna make a resolution to actually get out this weekend and go do something. I guess. I don't know. Hold me to it. Do you know what? Absolutely hold me to it. If you don't get a weekend, uh, sorry, if you don't get a vlog by, let's say I go out on Saturday, uh, get home, edit, upload, you'll see it on your Saturday. If you don't see a video from me on Saturday, unsub. Whether or not it's going to be entertaining, I'm not really sure, but another video out Saturday night, Sunday morning for me, Saturday morning for you. My uh, my viewership is 100% American now. I don't even know how that's possible. Like, what happened to my Ukrainian viewership? For that matter, what happened to my Australian and New Zealand viewership? I don't know, man. I don't know. For those of you who regularly watch my videos, I appreciate you guys. Um, we're talking about Grandman. We're talking about... Rupan RX, we're talking about Kingpin, David Bowling, we're talking about young Travis P, Big Teach, um, Nodak Willie, there's a bunch of you guys, and I know my content is A, sporadic, and B, most of the time only funny to me, <laughs> but I really appreciate you guys, um, yeah, so, vlog coming this weekend, who knows what it'll be. Probably something stupid with way too much editing and transitions that don't need to happen. Look forward to it. God bless. Look after each other. And I'll see you in the next one.